supposed to be here at 11.30. It's after 11.30. They just now showed up. Gosh, you talk about being on time. I hope their food is better than their punctuality, but uh, we had made an order and very paid, paid for it. And uh, this is like 12, so it's not quite time for order, but gosh, it said 11.30. Guys, I guess a lot of people don't know what time really means. People are waiting in line. They're not even open yet. And they're uh, already waiting in line, so if they never need to get these people that run the uh, Cousins Main Lobster a new watch, apparently they don't have one. All right, we're waiting for them to open. It's past 11:30, so let's we'll see how it goes. I would say punctuality, they get a zero. I will. All right, we just got back to picking up the Cousins Maine Lobster. Boy, they were very inefficient. I'm doing a, a truthful reveal on this. It was supposed to be there at 11.30. It was after 11.30. And uh, it was noon basically till anybody started moving. We pre-ordered ours, but still had to wait in line with a pre-order to get them. But here's what we got. We ended up with a, uh, uh, was it a lobster roll and a, uh, was it a crab roll? And uh, we also got some s soup. Well, let me look at it and I'll just fill you in more what we got. All right, here's what we got. We have a cup of this. Now I thought the cup would be a little bigger than it is, but that's what it is. We have a cousin, it's, it's a cold lobster sandwich, it's a main. And the other one is what, a regular uh, lo lobster. And the other one is a lobster tail with tater tots, is what it was. So we end up with three things to eat in a, in a bisque. You know, it looks good, let me try to get a close up. And then there's the, so, you know, it's just a regular lobster tail. I wasn't sure about that. It looks like it's got some sauce with it. So here we go. We're going to try it. We'll let you know our truthful opinion, how it is. The weight was miserable. Okay. Um, we did the uh, Cousins Main Lobster food truck today. Um, we started out on our e-bikes going over and had a little bit of a upset on that. So Sue did. <laughs> uh, I did. So Bob brought me back and then he just went over to pick up the food himself. To start with, the food truck was supposed to be there at 1130 and it didn't pull in until 1140. It was late. So it was, I mean, he thought it was a no-show. Uh, so they pulled in 10 minutes late. And, and we pre-ordered. And we pre-ordered this morning. Paid so, for it. And, pre, and, pre, and I already had to charge on my credit card pending, so... Anyway, they showed up. He stood in line. He said there was probably at least like 100. There's probably about 100, around, around 100 people. And, and this was at Deland Grocery Store at Publix there. So. Yeah, North Cape Plaza here in Deland. So he was like the first person in line waiting. And well, we pre ordered. And they said it would be ready. It should, excuse me, should have been there at 1130. They pulled in at 1140, and our food should have been ready by 12. And it was at well after 12. But anyway, to the food, we got the. Main style uh, lobster roll, we, which is the cold with mayonnaise. We got the Connecticut style, which is warm with butter and lemon, lemon flavored butter on it. We got a lobster tail with tater tots, which came with some cabbage. And we got the lobster bisque soup. To start with, the lobster bisque soup was terrible. It was just terrible. Hardly any. There was um, no chunks of lobster, very few, if any. It just, it had almost an artificial flavor to it. It was. So, um, I found I guess. both lobster rolls were very good. I ate the warm one first. Uh, we cut it in half. We each had a half of each. Uh, the, the Connecticut style, warm. It was good. The roll was good, nice and soft. The bun was toasted on the outside. It was really good. Um, the cold Maine style with butter was really good. Uh, the 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 lobster itself was nice and tender. I found it to be sweet. Bob found it to be too sweet. Um, he thinks they uh, probably marinated, soaked it in sugar, whatever. But anyway, 
Both the rolls were very good. The lobster tail was very good. He, uh, you know, it was still warm and served with butter. And the tater tots were good and nice and crispy. So overall, I found it to be really good. Um, not worth the money, uh, but the lobster bisque was not good. So the rest of it, I would say, was was good. It was $24 for the lobster rolls. Each, each roll. For each roll. And I think the ten dollars uh, was disc. like 19 yeah, 19, 19 for the lobster. We should have just got three lobster tails. Yeah. Um, would have been better. The bisque and was like 10 The bisque, a cup of soup. The was worst $10, $10 I think I've ever spent. But anyway, this is all left of the tater tots. I'm going to eat them here directly. But um, it was an experiment. We wanted to check it out and see what the cousins make because we'd seen it on Shark Tank with Barbara Corcoran. But anyway, um, overall, the experience, getting it was bad. Uh, you know, okay, give me an good. overall rating. I'd say one to ten. Up. One to ten. Thumbs up for one. Uh, ten. Uh, one out of ten. Uh, probably seven for the lobster part. Two for the bisque. Overall, six. Oh, six. All right. Thanks. Thank so. you. Bye. I'll let you know what I think next. Okay. Uh, here's my opinion. It was extremely, not a little bit, extremely over expensive for one. Now, this was a Shark Tank. If you're not familiar, the Shark Tank went and interviewed these guys and they gave them a deal. And I have determined if you get a deal from the Shark Tank, you no matter how good you are, you're going to succeed because of the publicity and who they are on it. When I first pulled out there, I was surprised how dingy the truck was. It was, for one, it was late. I'm never late. I expect everybody to be on time, and this was late. I was roaming around the parking lot trying to find it. I went around the blog, and finally there it was. You know, well, I don't go. We had placed an order, pre-order, so you didn't have to wait in line. Now, I still waited in line, but not that long. But I was early, so I probably wouldn't have ever wait in much of a line anyways. The food itself, it came out very slow. I only saw one person working in the truck i think maybe there was another one stuffed back in there somewhere there had to be uh but we got it here and and as you saw i showed you pictures of the food looked delicious it looked very appetizing extremely appetizing in fact now i've had lobster a lot over the past and uh, to be honest with you this didn't taste like no lobster i've ever had and i don't say that that it was better it, it seemed to me the lobster had been marinated in some sort of sugar because it was more sweet than any lobster I've ever tasted in my life. Now, lobster does have a sweetness to it. This was almost, I call it candy-like sweetness, way over. Now, I'm not a sweet fan, and uh, but this was really way over sweetness on it. The um, They were all about the same. We had the different, two different rolls. One was cold, one was hot. They were both cold when we got them, so it didn't make any difference. The And then we had a lobster tail, which i say it was a hair better than the roll, but I could still get the massive sweetness into it. And then I dove into the bisque. Now, I've made different bisques, and I make a good bisque. This is the worst artificially tasted bisque I've ever tasted in my life. I have to give the bisque a zero. I'd almost say it was next to unedible, and that's just how I feel about it. Now, some people might say they liked it, but... That's everybody has that same with, with eating. Different people have different tastes. That one didn't meet my taste. Would I ever go there again? Absolutely, I never would or recommend them either way to the uh, uh, what they call that cousin's food truck, you know, on it. Everything was down uh, over already. Now, I'm not going to say the food was not so bad or that it was not good. I don't believe it's what a lobster should be. Uh, I know what I expect in a lobster. That was not it. A lot of people, I imagine, would just love this. Uh, that I'm not one of them. So, you know, don't let me stop you from trying it. Make sure your pocket is full of money. We had basically, what was it, four orders. And we did get full after four orders of it. And it came out a total of right around 80-some dollars oh. for the four o orders, which is... That's a nice restaurant. If you're going to go out to uh, a, a restaurant and have that kind of a meal, that's that's. I want to sit down at a table. I want to sit down and have a nice meal on it in a nice air-conditioned area that I can enjoy the meal. This here, I stood in line in the sun 
for a good hour you know over now probably closer to an hour and a half and i had pre-ordered and had reservations so it still took me that long to get it i'd say cousin's food truck fails miserably in my book um the food is edible and it's not horrible but i didn't find it the best so you make up your mind try them sometimes they come near you give them a shot but make sure you feel like spending a lot of money because you're going to spend a lot of money hey guys i hope you enjoyed our little review of cousin's food truck uh to uh uh she she liked it she she the, the tater tops were better than the best you know something that was the best part of the whole meal was the tater tot cousin's main lobster there's main lobster that's what it's called on it so hey guys if you enjoy this give us a thumbs up a like thank if you're not a subscriber I invite you to hit the subscribe to our page we do all kinds of videos and uh, i haven't done a food video for quite a while so we just did one and if you guys enjoyed this give us a like thumbs up Join us in one of our live chats one time. Oh, see you guys the next time. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching.